Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Jason with Art of Creation Homestead, and here we are in the kitchen again. Christmas time. Angela's gonna make some outstanding, delicious, old fashioned potato candy. Or, as you like to say, where I'm from, tater candy. Okay, so we're gonna get some tater candy. We're gonna come over here. She's gonna show you how to do it. Hope you enjoy it. I know this sounds a little strange, but once you taste it, it's stinking amazing. Okay, in, in the bowl of my KitchenAid mixer, you don't have to use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer or you can do it by hand, but it is going to kill your arm. <laughs> so you really want to do a mixer. This is a half a cup of mashed potato. Now, this is not leftover mashed potatoes. I cooked one medium potato just in water, no salt, no oil, no nothing, just one potato cooked in some water, one medium potato cooked in some water, and then you drain the water off, all of the water, let it cool a little, mash it really good. As you can see, it's really smooth. Mash it really good and let it cool. You want no heat on it at all. And then we have one stick of salted butter, and as you can tell, it's softened. You want it room temperature softened. And this is salted butter because you want that little hint of salt in there. So you want to dump that in and you're going to mix it up. And the potato is going to be the base for your dough because this is going to essentially make kind of a dough. And see, it's nice and all beat together now. You can still smell the potato, <laughs> believe mm -hmm. it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to start with this. <laughs> It takes a lot of powdered sugar. We're going to do six to seven cups. Sometimes if it's humid outside, you may have to add a little more. But you do this one cup at a time until you know it's right. So this is one cup. M minus what I just dumped right there. Hmm. And you want to just turn on the mixer and keep adding. And not, at some point, it may start to look a little liquid. Turn it on low because otherwise, at first, because otherwise it's going to throw it everywhere. And once it starts to incorporate, then you can turn it up. See, it's starting to look liquidy now. And as, as you add, you may see some liquid, it's starting to look a little liquidy. It's smoothing out, essentially. And it will, sometimes it will go completely liquid. But the more, the more powdered sugar you add, the more it will go back to solid. This is just part of the process. Don't get scared. What she's telling you is that there is some liquid there. You can't see it necessarily inside this, this view here. But there is some moisture there, okay? You'll see it when you're doing it. There is moisture there. Don't get scared about that. That's, that's going to happen. See? It's kind of... It's getting kind of liquidy. That's going to happen. It, it's not ruined. You didn't do anything wrong. That's going to happen. Just keep going, keep adding sugar. Now we're adding the second cup and we're gonna add it one cup at a time, doing just what I showed you, mixing it between each cup that you add. At this point, when you add the second cup, you wanna add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And you want to add one cup at a time when we get to the, the number six cup when i'm putting in the number six cup we'll be back and i'll show you what it looks like then and see if we have to add a seventh okay we've added five cups scraping it down adding them one at a time scraping down the bowl between each one and see now you you're starting to get a dough it's almost it almost looks like a frosting at this point yeah it's sticky but what you want you don't want it to be sticky anymore you want it to be a nice moldable dough so we're going to add cup number six. Now, let me tell you, if you you are going to make potato candy, you want to cook that potato ahead of time. If you have multiple things, multiple candies or whatever that you're doing that day, start by, by cooking your potato. That way you can cook it, mash it, and set it aside to get nice and cool while you're making your other stuff. So now we're going to add that sixth cup 
and we'll see after we mix this in if we need to add a seventh or more. Ah! Flying everywhere. I just did what I told you not to do. Now, see it's making a nice dough now. See, you've got a you've got a stiffer dough now. And see, it's yeah, okay. It is kind of doughy, almost like a, like, like a biscuit dough feel. It, it almost has a biscuit dough feel. So, now you want to pull up some. You want to pull up some. And see, it's still a little sticky. So, you want to add more powdered sugar. Because you want it to be moldable in your hand. You want it to be able to roll it into a ball in your hand. Well, you can't do that yet. So, we'll need to add another cup. So we're at, this is cup number seven. A lot of times this is going to depend on your weather. If there's a little bit of humidity in the air, some cloud cover, sometimes you have to add a little bit more. If your house is a little has a little moisture in it, you'll have to add a little more. If your house is dry, you'll have to add less. Basically, you just got to play with it and know what you're looking for. So we're going to add this and see what it looks like after this one. And see it, the mixer is much more labored now. It's much more labored because the dough is getting thick. And see, now it's much thicker now. It's amazing, actually. And you saw how it, it was becoming liquidy before. After cup number two, it becomes even more liquidy. Don't get scared, just keep adding sugar. And see, now, you're starting to get that dough. That's something. Let's see. Now you've got a dough. It's still a little sticky, but nothing that you can't work with. See? Because you mm -hmm. can actually work with that. So seven is, is the key right here. So what you want to do right here, you want to take all of this off your paddle. And as you can tell, you can, you can work with it just with your clean hands. Because it is a dough. Now, and what you want to do, you want to take your paddle off, or if you're just using a hand mixer, you want to take your beaters off, get everything off of them, and you want to take your, take a spoon or a rubber spatula, a silicone spatula like, like I'm using. You want to make sure you get all that powdered sugar off the sides, get it all worked in. See, it's a beautiful dough tastes really good too. <laughs> it tastes really good. But this isn't all we're doing to this. This this gets even better. You want to have extra powdered sugar over here to the side. Dip your hands in the powder in the extra powdered sugar. Get them nice and coated with the extra powdered sugar. And then you come in here. Just like you would flour your hands if you're making biscuits or something like that. You want to do this with powdered sugar, though. It's like and a sweet potato biscuit. <laughs> and if it starts sticking to your hand, come back in and dip your hands in the powdered sugar again. Because it is going to be a little sticky right now because you want to make it into a nice ball. See? It's like a dough. It's very soft. And what you want to do here you want to set it back in, in the bowl, or you can wrap it up in plastic wrap, either either which way you want to do it. But you want if you put it back in the bowl, you want to cover the bowl with plastic wrap because you don't want it to take on any smells from the refrigerator. And you want to leave this sit in the refrigerator for about a half an hour to an hour. We'll check it at a half an hour because you don't want it to sit in there and get too hard. If it gets too hard, then you'll have to leave it sit out at room temperature for about 15 minutes so that you can work with it. Because... You've got to roll it out from here. Okay, now we're gonna put it back in the bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, we'll be back. Our dough is nice and chilled now. You can see it's no longer sticky. It's nice and firm now. So now we're gonna cut the dough in half. And we're gonna work with half at a time. And see, this is what it looks like. See, it's nice and firm. Not nice and chilled, but it's not hard, so it's not gonna crack on us. It's just a good dough to work with. It's beautiful. 
It smells wonderful. It's it tastes wonderful. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is kind of fascinating. Now we'll, we'll take this other half, put it back in the refrigerator so that, so that it doesn't come to room temperature while you're working with this half. This is the way I choose to roll it out because it's much cleaner than rolling it on your countertop and it doesn't make as big of a mess. Put out a piece of wax paper, a nice size sheet of wax paper, sprinkle some powdered sugar on here just like you would be dusting a counter for bread dough or biscuits or whatever. Take your half and form it into a rough rectangle basically. Kind of pat it out a little bit. And normally what I like to do, I like to turn it over. That way you're setting in that powdered sugar. And see, now you're, you're getting a nice, a nice dough. And now I'm gonna put another piece of wax paper over top so it makes it easier to roll. Now we're just gonna take a rolling pin and roll it out. You wanna roll it out to about a fourth of an inch thick. Because you don't want it too thick because then it will have a tendency to crack when you go to roll it up. Because we're gonna roll it up. There we go. That'll be good. I think that, That'll be good. I think that will be good. Now we'll push it back into as close to a rectangle as we can get it. You won't get it exactly a rectangle. <laughs> so this this section here is a little thin, but once you square it up a little bit, yeah. it's gonna, it's it's gonna get back to its thickness. Yeah, it's gonna go back to its thickness. And you wanna pat it out, make it nice and smooth, nice and clean. And see, that should be good. So now what we're gonna do this is gonna make it even better. We're going to, we're going to spread peanut butter on this. And basically it's up to how much peanut butter you want. You don't want it so that when you cut it, it's ooching out everywhere. <laughs> you don't, if ooching's a word. It's ooching a word, Jason. It is now. We'll put it on the screen. O O C H I N. Ooching. Ooching. Apostrophe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's an Angela word. Ooching's an Angela word. Okay. You want to spread a nice, even layer of peanut butter. Now, if you are allergic to nuts, don't abandon this. You can use. I'm not allergic to nuts because I'm married to Jason. <laughs> she, but she did my joke for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely not allergic to nuts. But if you are allergic, you don't need to abandon this recipe and say, I can't make this. You could use uh, the Biscoff cookie butter. It would work good in this. You could also use sunflower seed butter. Could you use, no, no, no you can't use hazelnut spread then, could no. you? No. Nope, no. Nope. So ignore me. Nope. But hey, it would be good with Nutella. Do they make sunflower butter? Yes, they make sunflower butter. But that's not a nut, is it? No, and you can use sunflower butter. So you could use sunflower butter. And you want to spread a nice even layer. Now you want to leave a nice little border around so that it, it will stick together good when you go to yeah. roll it. Right. So now you want to start with the long side. And you want to start gently start raising it up to roll it. You may see a little cracking as you start to roll it. It's no big deal. It's a dough. You can push it back together. Use use your wax paper to help you along the way. You want to ro roll it nice and tight. And see if you start to stick just a little, take your thumb and just push on it and hits where you put that stick of butter in there, it's nice and buttery, nice and pliable. So you can raise it up fairly easy. It's not gonna stick down hard like a cookie dough. And you just keep rolling. And just keep working your way across. 
As Patience is the key, right? Be very patient. Be very patient, very steady with your movements, but at the same time work quick because you don't want the heat of your hands to make your dough so soft that it that it's going to you're gonna have trouble with it. So you wanna work steady but quick. And it's not gonna be perfect. I will tell you that right now. It's not gonna look absolutely spot on, come from a candy store perfect. But it's okay because you're not gonna use it like that. Right? Yes. And see. Now we now you can shape it a little bit. Now you can shape it a little bit. And then we're gonna push this powdered sugar that I pushed off to the side. We're gonna push it back over. And see some of the peanut butter ooched out, but it's okay. Yes, I use that word again. That's your vocabulary word for today, children. Ooched. Now we're gonna roll it up. And we're gonna roll it up in our white paper. Tuck your ends under and put this in the refrigerator so that it will stay, so that it will firm up a little bit while you work with your other half. Our first roll has been in there about 10 minutes after we did our second roll. Let me see their tater roll! I'm sorry, I couldn't <laughs> help it. I have no idea why, I couldn't help it. So you want to use a nice sharp knife and just gently cut down, moving back and forth just a little. And I'm going to start in the middle. That way you can see it real good. Look at that. Looks good. Okay. Now you want to cut it in about half inch slices. And you'll want to store this in the refrigerator in an airtight container. Because the refrigerator is going to keep it nice and firm. You don't want it to get, get room temperature too much because it'll get too soft. It doesn't have to be exact in, in size. You don't have to stand here with a ruler and measure it. You just don't want big hunks. You just don't want big hunks because it, it is rich. It is sweet. This, hey, you know all those dog bag friendly recipes that you read and see about? This ain't it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this is not it. It's very, it is sweet, but it's good. It has flavor. And look at that. It is sweet without having that flavor. Gorgeous. No, obviously you set peanut butter is running like that. It's not going to do that once it sets once up. Once it sets cool. in the refrigerator. And it's cool. It's, it's fine. But it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it is very delicious, by the way. And if you're thinking potatoes and candy, no thank you. You don't taste that. It ain't like eating baked potatoes. No, sorry. it's not. <laughs> Trust me. You, you want to try this. I'm going to try this, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mmm. It's very good. Look at that. Try to get to where the light's not on. Look at that. Actually, honestly, that's very good. Obviously, yes, it's sweet. Okay. But it's not like hurting your mouth sweet. It's got really good flavor. Um, it doesn't taste like potato. Okay, by the way. But if you're worried about it, about sugar, all that stuff, look, it's one time a year. You know, don't don't eat ten pieces of it a day. My gosh, it's crazy. But like, you can have this one time a year. It's delicious. It's Christmas. Hey, enjoy it. Okay.